Hey, what's up, TikTok guys? We're gonna do a quick little video. I'm doing this 3-6 timing. I just got it down to this far. I'm gonna pull the chains off and the cam phasers off. I got another set of cam phasers that people brought me. They're off of one of their old vehicles or something. So I got the cam phasers and I got all brand new timing components. Besides the cam phasers, I got used ones, but they're they're in really good shape. They're like new. There's all the timing stuff. And then the cam, these are the cam phasers I'm replacing those ones with. These are the newer ones. They're brand new, just they were ran like a couple hundred miles or whatever but yeah there's that so i'm going to take all this out and change it over i'll bring you right back when i set the timing so you can see how to set the timing on a 3.6 because it sets in two different stages you set this side with this and the bottom and then you turn it back and then set this side but something like that i haven't done one in a while but i'm about to do it right now you can easily tell by the marks how to do it first thing i do is clean the surfaces off like i just use these sprayers out and break clean make sure we're the tensioners go and uh, everything is all pretty much cleaned off and I'll hit it with a razor and then I'll clean it one more time. See that gunk in there and shit? That's just nasty and that's the they're oil driven. These tensioners are oil driven so you don't want them to be plugged up, you know. I'll clean them all off. I'll take a razor and clean the gasket off and then after I do that, I'll come back and spray it off one more time. Then I'll put it back together. Trying to get a lot of this thick shit off there. I love brake cleaning. I use a ton of it. I use basically one can just to clean this off. <laughs> but I want to see marks, tiny marks, and everything. And I'm going to wipe it off real quick and then I'll scrape the gasket off and I'll bring it right back. I just take a razor blade like this and clean the gasket off. And you can clean it however you want. I don't care. But that's how I do it. Try not to let it fall in the pan because obviously the sump's in there. You don't want to be picking the shit up with the sump. But this razor blade usually cleans it off pretty good. And then I'll come back and spray it and wipe it again. Don't let it unfall in the pan if you can help it. You can stick something in there too. This usually on these ones it just falls right past it, but just make sure you got all this stuff off there so don't so it don't fall in the pan later. You're gonna RTV it too when you put it back together from the new gasket. That's pretty much good enough right there. Then we'll wipe it off again. Make sure ain't no loose pieces. And then right here too a little bit. Right around there. It's pretty good. Now I'll clean it up one more time, and then I'll start putting it back together. I'll bring it right back. Okay, check it out. On these uh, cam phasers, there's multiple marks. There's a circle here and a triangle here. They're for left and right. So you always consider left and right by looking from the back of the motor. So this one is the exhaust phaser. You see the exhaust right there? And we're using the left one, which would be the circle, because that's the left head. This one will be the intake, and we're using the left mark again and the circle. Right there, see the, the L for left head? There's also a right, you can put these on wrong, so you gotta be careful. You see the triangle there? That's for if you're using it on the other side. So, same on this one. See, there's a right head with a triangle, that's for if you're using it on the other head. So I always mark them ahead of time. So, this one is exhaust, and it's a left one. This one is intake, and it's a left one. This one will be intake, and it'll be the right one, which is right here, it's a triangle this time. Mark the triangle. And then this one will be right as well. So it's a triangle down here. So that's that. Now I'll show you, now I'll put the other pulleys on there and then I'll show you how to time it just a second. All right, here's the new ones. I'll mark these two. That tooth right there on that one. This tooth right here on this one. All right, now I'm about to set chains on it and I'll bring it right back. That's how you time this side. You put this chain in place. All the gold ones go to the blue ones. Boom, boom, boom right there, gold to blue. So you put this all in and get it right. Then you get this one right. That one's got black to blue, black to blue. And then if you look through this hole right here, you can see a gold one behind there. And that's the other one. I think it's gold, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check. I'll check before I tighten it all down anyways, but. Yeah, it's got a gold one behind there. That's how you line that one up. You just look through the hole. If the gold one's lined up, you're right on the money. And then this one, you do the same thing up there and down here. I'll bring you back as soon as it, I'll 
I'll bring you back in the middle as I'm setting the other one so you can see how it sets on the other ones, but I'll bring you right back. Once you do that, you got the bottom set, double check it, triple check it. That's there, that's there, that's lined up. The gold tooth is on, the gold tooth is on, the gold tooth is on. Once that's on, you can pull the tensioner pin so that it gets the tension on it. Like that, I always save those because I need to take one out later and put it back in. Now I'll set this one and I'll put the guides in, then I'll put the tensioner in and I'll pop it. Then I'll show you how to set the other side. See there, that one goes like that. I haven't pulled the tensioner yet. This guide, this guide, this tensioner. Everything's tight, everything's good where it goes. That's still on, that's still on, that's still on, that's still on, that's still on. And that's got a gold tooth in there, so that's still on too. See it, it's gold, looking dead on just like that. Yeah, that's dead on right there. Yeah, okay. So now, after you do that, then you gotta turn this to get the other one set. You gotta turn this, you see the blue mark down there on the bottom, and then I marked another blue mark over here, up in there. So in order to set the other side, you gotta turn this. Keep turning until you get it where it gotta go. I hate these ones, I don't know why they ever did this, but that's the way they're timed, that's why when they come out of time they fly apart and ruins the motor but there we go now I'll set the other side if you look at it straight on it's on it's straight straight with each other now I'll set this side and then I'll bring it back all right there it is man see this would be the left side here they're still all on that one's on the circle the circle the circle the left the left on that one you look straight through there the silver one or the gold one is right through the hole right where it's supposed to be the front chain gold 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 all right where they're supposed to be and then once you turn that side like a half a turn or a quarter turn whatever it is then this one lines up with that hole is the gold one boom that r with the triangle is the that's the one for that one and that r with the triangle is for that one intake exhaust timing is all done now i'm going to put the motor back together and put it back in the car